Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. I'm gonna be honest, I'm exhausted. We've been doing inventory, getting ready for the double drop. It's the biggest month ever on our Patreon account. If you ain't signed up on it yet, you're going to be missing out. I'm telling you, this is the month to do it if you were ever even thinking about it. All right. Today's video, what we're going to talk about, man, I, do, I am not looking great. <laughs> I have not been sleeping a ton because I've been working so much. I'm only sleeping like an hour, two hours a night, maybe tops, getting everything ready for 420. Uh, guys, the video what we're, going, we're, what we're going to be talking about today is CalMag and Mag Sulfur, when to use it, where to use it, how to use it, all that kind of stuff. And it is something that you absolutely should be adding to your garden if you want gigantic, full uh, canopies like mine. Uh, but guys, first, as always, remember to join the Patreon. Uh, also, guys, a, a huge sale happening tomorrow on the on my site. Well, not my site, but Mars Hydro. They're going to do 18% off their lights using code 420WTTGT and it's only for tomorrow. So you get to skip all the peak shipping stuff that's going to happen next week. You can use this code tomorrow for 18% off your purchase. Just type in that again, 420WTTGT, all capital letters. Well, I mean, not the 420 part because it's already capitalized because it's numbers. <laughs> all right, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what else we got going on? I mean, you see all the merch back there. GT, your, your boy's been busy, all right? So that store's going to open on 420 also at WTTGT.com. Can't buy anything on there yet. Well, there's stuff on there. You just can't see it yet. It's going to go live on 420. Unless you're a Patreon member, then you're going to get to see it on 418. And hopefully it doesn't sell out. But if you're a Patreon member, you don't have to worry about it because you'll be able to see it first. All right, guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full video. We're back, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, our episode today. We're going to be talking about Cal Mag, Mag Sulfur. I know the video sound quality. I don't know why I did quotations there because it, it's probably going to be a little messed up because I'm using my old equipment today. It's all broken and busted. I don't have my new stuff with me. I left it at home. And I wanted to make this video and announce that 18% off from Mars Hydro. So what we're going to be talking about today is I get a lot of questions on it is uh, CalMag and Mag Sulfurs. When do you add them? When do you start them? When do you stop them? When do you switch them? How much do you give? These are some of the questions that I get every single day in my email over and over and over again. So I think, you know, I figured I'd just make a video on it, which is how I make most of my videos. I base it just off of uh, the uh, the questions that I get. So here we go. Guys, uh, when we first we're going to be talking about you know what are the what are these products that are uh, CalMag or Mag Sulfur? What are some of their names? Uh, if you do uh, Botanicare for it's just called CalMag. It's in a little white square looking bottle. Uh, for General Hydroponics, they have Cali Magic. Uh, I got a whole list of them down here. I cheated. I wrote them down so I don't forget some of them. Uh, now there's hundreds of them. So uh, remember, it doesn't matter what brands you use. It's all the same stuff, just because it has a different sticker on it. This is why I can't get more sponsors because of the kind of stuff I say like that. Uh, Fox Farms has Bush Doctor, Cal Magic, Advance has Cincy Cal. It's calcium and magnesium. Let's, let's not get crazy here. It's just different stickers on the bottle. Uh, if you're looking for your mag sulfur products, your finishing products, uh, you've got Botanic Hair is sweet, which is what we use. It doesn't matter what flavor. Yeah, that was a good place for the quotations because it doesn't flavors, you know, grape, raw, berry, lemon. It doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. It's just advertising to get you to pick a bottle up. Okay? It doesn't make a difference with your terpene profiles. Nothing. It's literally just advertising to get you to pick a bottle up. Okay? It doesn't matter what flavor. If it's raw or berry or mixed berry or lemon or birthday cake or donkey butthole, it's all the same stuff. Okay? None of it makes a difference. Uh, you can use Flora Nectar, Bud Candy. Any of those is a great mag sulfur product. And you're like, well, GT, when do I use them both at the same time? Well, we're going to talk about that. Slow down, man. We're getting there. I promise. All right, what else? Uh, when to give it. This is probably the most asked question whenever I come, whenever it comes to this stuff. 
uh, it's when do I start it, when do I stop it, when do I switch over to the mag sulfur. So I start mine, I'm growing, my, my plants start off in the little cubes. My plants start off in the little cubes and then they go to solo cups. Uh, and then mine go to one gallons because I'm not going to overwater. And then they go to solo cups and then into like, a, you know, in the solo cups, they have happy frog is with the soil they're sitting in. So they go from cubes to solo cups to one gallons. But as soon as they get into soil is generally about the time that I will start giving them. Usually I give them like a week and then I'll start giving them uh, cow mag and I will give my plants cow mag weeks two of veg all the way through week three of flower. And they're like, well, how much do I get? God dang, hold on. We're getting there, I promise. <laughs> and then at the end of week three flower, I, I'm done with the cow mag because we're done with the calcium, but we still need magnesium. So we're going to switch over to a different product, a mag sulfur product. And those are the ones where we're talking about like bud candy, uh, flora nectar, uh, sweet from Botanicare, any of those. And then we'll give mag sulfur from week three or week four flower through week seven of flower and then week eight flower just give water all right uh and then you're like okay well what's the amounts to use hold on got the wife calling got to end that if she sees that i'm gonna be in trouble she, why didn't you pick up the phone you could have stopped recording anytime you wanted <laughs> because i'm talking to my people my spartans that's why all right so the amount you give is going to vary depending on the size of your plant. Like if I, whenever I start giving uh, cow mag in week two, I'm not going to give it the same amount that I gave to the, will give to the plant in week three. And you're like, well, okay, well, how do I do it? So my rule of thumb, whenever I'm adjusting or get, adding cow mag is I start off with only like one to two milliliters per gallon whenever I am adding it at first, like when the plant's tiny, because it doesn't need much. Back to my infamous analogy, if me and my six-year-old daughter go to a buffet, I am going to eat more than she is because she is smaller than me. The biology works the same, whether we're talking about little and big plants or little and big people. The big ones want more, the little ones don't need as much. It's the same thing. Bring some rationale into it, I promise you, this will work a lot better. Uh, so whenever I start off with the little plants, uh, it just like two milliliters per gallon, you're not gonna hurt them. Uh, and then as they get bigger, what you'll notice is eventually the two milliliters per gallon won't be enough. And you're like, well, GT, how do I know that? The way I tell is on your big fan leaves, on the leaf stem, they will start to turn purple. They'll have like purple striping start running up and down. Before they turn solid purple, they'll just get some purple striping that goes up and down those big fan leaf stems. Whenever I see that, I know it's time for me to increase my PPM of my cow mag. And usually I'll just jump up from like one or two to like three, you know, just a little bit, just touch. And what you'll notice is that purple striping will fade away and be back to green the next week. And then as the plant gets bigger, that, and you see the purple striping start to come back, it's time to increase again. We're waiting for the plant to ask for something before we just, we say, hey, I'm psychic, I know what my plant needs, and bam, and give it to it. Instead of doing it that way, I wait for the plant to ask for it, then I give it. I know, radical concept. You know, what can I do? <laughs> um, so that is how you determine the amount that you give. Now, whenever the plant is bigger, you're already in flower and you're going to be switching over to mag sulfur. I pretty much just start at five milliliters per gallon and then by week seven i'm usually around eight milliliters per gallon but this is also depending on the size of the plant if i'm flowering out those giant six foot tall mothers that you've seen pictures on my instagram uh then you know i'm i'm, I'm, I'm up higher than that because those plants are way bigger once again we're adjusting for size so Generally, whenever your your normal size plants your cow mag you'll be around 300 to 350 ppm by week three flower um, with the flora or with the uh, the mag sulfur products you know your sweet and stuff like that I'm usually that, that runs lower ppm per milliliter so I'm usually only around 250 300 ppm at the end of flower even at eight milliliters at eight milliliters it's around 240 ppm uh, when you're adding that per gallon uh, it doesn't it just it's not as dense as the uh, as the cow mag 
All right, so now we have to take about, talk about it. one other difference is if you're using tap water or, or RO water, that I, it always looks funny when I write or and then RO because it looks like I just wrote or twice and one of, one of the times backwards. <laughs> so if you're using tap or, or RO water, so if you're using RO water, you're going to be adding CalMag every single watering because you've taken all that stuff out of there and in the tap water, the majority of that PPM that's in there is calcium and magnesium and then they got like fluoride and chlorine and all the yucky stuff in there that we don't want which is why we run it through an RO so if I'm dealing with RO water let's talk about RO water first because it's nothing in it you know we've removed everything so every single time I water and I we, we feed on a feed water 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 feed schedule so that means I feed and then I have three plain waterings but even those plain waterings I'm still putting in what we've taken out basically plus all the bad stuff we're putting the good stuff back in so i'm going to put my calmag back in so every single time i water i am going to be also adding calmag i got to find a way to get these videos shorter you know i try to do like a quick subject and it's I, this video is already going to be over 10 minutes long so i'm going to add calmag or my mag sulfur product every single time i water whenever i am on RO water. If I am on tap water, we've got to do one more test to figure out when I need to add it, if I need to add it. So I'm going to take my PPM and pH pen and I am going to test the water. Like out of my tap here, it's around 1100, so I can't use it. My water here is, is too, it's got too much stuff in it. That's why I run an RO machine and we go through filters really, really quickly because of it, because the, the water here is so concentrated because we have water softeners and that's just pure salt that you're adding to the water and i think with before the water softener it's even still too hot it's like 430 but if your tap water says 200 or below you know you don't want it to be it's not going to be zero so if it's anywhere in the like 150 100 150 200 250 kind of a tops you're kind of getting a little over right there uh then you actually don't need to add calmag it's already all in there and it's a great level for it so you can actually just use your regular tap water if you're in that range and by the time the plants are in like week two, week three of flower, you might have to start adding a touch more to it. Because I said we usually finish around 300, 350. But you don't have to add much. You just use your regular tap water and it's already got enough of it in there. Uh, if, but if you're using distilled RO or spring, you're going to have to add it. Uh, with the mag sulfur, uh, it's not the same. Whenever Because we want that, that, that sulfur product in there uh, for the plant. So you're going to have to add that. It doesn't matter if you're using tap or RO water. You're going to just add the 5 milliliters to 8 milliliters per gallon. Uh, what else we got? We got soil versus cocoa with soil. I give it a week, you know, the whole time it's in seedling stage, I don't give it any cow mag, especially when you get mag solver because you don't get that till flower. And then with, and then it goes into the soil. Then I give it a week or so, sometimes two, before I start adding the cow mag in. With a cocoa grow, it's, you're going to be more instant because cocoa's inert, and you can start adding it right away. Uh, I think that basically covered. This was supposed to be a short video, and it's going to be like 13 or 14 minutes long. But I think that basically covers the amount of questions or the type of questions I get on this subject all the time. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, the code works tomorrow, 420. WTTGT, 18% off on the Mars Hydro. Follow the links in the video description below. I'll see you guys next time. GT, out.